You're watching Horizon Business News with your host, Jeff Roberts. Good evening. Our top story tonight is how technology will revolutionize the interoperability of financial services in the world of banking as we know it. To first get some perspective on how customer demand is shaping technology in the banking industry, we will now go to reporter Robert Jeffries. I'm here with Andrew, a typical banking customer. Andrew, what does the public want from their financial institutions, particularly from a technology perspective? Well, Jeff, everything is interconnected these days. I wish that my bank could interact with everything else on my phone. I wish also that I could transfer money faster between banks. Of course, lower fees would be great. Thank you. Now back to Jeff in the studio. Joining us now for comment is tech expert Madeline Doyle. Thanks, Jeff. As we heard, interoperability is key. Recent reports suggest that distributed ledger technology or blockchain will be an exciting way to quickly and cheaply send currency internationally and across platforms. It will also be the basis for smart, secure contracts that auto-execute. Interesting. Now, is there a fear that this will allow customers to use this technology to, say, bypass banks altogether? Absolutely. So the time to move is now, and many banks are. Two major banks just did a first successful test of blockchain to improve speed and cut costs in international trade. The recently launched Corda platform brings together 70 banks from around the world to create a semi-centralized blockchain, and several Canadian banks are part of this, and also experimenting in-house, RBC for instance, with their blockchain-based loyalty programs. That's fascinating. We'll now go to Neha Tali with the forecast. Thank you, Jeff. We see banks and tech companies racing to define the new standard in the industry. Collaboration is key, and we can expect consolidation in the near future. On the bright side, pilot projects show that high efficiency, low cost, and customization are well within reach. However, disruptive technology will lead to job obsolescence, growing pains, as well as regulation which could impede the network adoption. Companies that account for this will win the race to market, but slow adopters will fade out of the system. Thank you, Neha. Good night, everyone.